Hey, it's Rahara. Welcome back to my channel. I am once again back with my lovely mother. Hi. And uh, we are going to do the ship and ripper tab. We haven't done it in a while, which is why I thought, why not do it again? Um, it has been a while. The we recently did the shipping uh shipping wars, which mm -hmm. was our first time doing that one. I mean, I think I've done it once or twice on this channel, but I've never had her on it while I did that. And that was a long video, too. <laughs> it was. Because we get very ranty and we start talking. Mm. But all my videos are pretty ranty. <laughs> <laughs> I can believe it. <laughs> so, so we have a bowl of names. Did one fall? Yes. Yes, okay. Um, uh, names. Uh, I, I did names that I know Mom will know, even if it shows she hasn't actually, you know, seen, but... There's a lot of my shows that she knows a lot from because she's either seen me watch them or I talk about them. True. So um, I made sure she knew enough of the show, of the shows and movies that I added. Enough. Okay. So you'll be able to at least know enough to be able to say ship them with the other person involved. Okay, gotcha. Um, because I do that with shipping wars too. The um, you knew enough of the couples to know yeah. which one you knew you liked better. True. Some of them, some of your guys surprised me. Yeah. <laughs> I was first that you chose Carolina Stephan. I don't remember who they were up against, but you chose them. I know enough about them, and I've seen you watch, I've seen enough of your edits and stuff. I mean, I've been yeah, I I've actually began to like them and like them as a couple, even though I've never actually seen the show. Like, like I said, they're my favorite friends to lovers ever. Cause I just love, because their evolution is just so natural, you know? But you. anyways... So, I have a bowl of names. I'm going to pick out one. Mom's going to pick out one. We'll see if sh she can read my handwriting. <laughs> it's hard. I had hard last time. Shut up. Okay. Well, stop opening it. <laughs> okay. Alan from the original Jumanji. Arthur Pendragon. Arthur Pendragon. And who? Alan from Jumanji. Oh, <laughs> I don't think Arthur. I see that. I mean, I can ship it with a guy because I ship it with Merlin. But I don't know if I can see it with Alan. I, I feel like I, Alan, or maybe yeah, because Merlin can be kind of out there, and so can Alan after everything he's been through. And Arthur I likes still, Merlin. I still can't see them together. I can't. <laughs> yeah, I find it hard um, myself. But I mean, Merlin's kind of out there, and so is Alan. And Arthur true. likes Merlin. So true. maybe. I don't know, but I, I don't. I can't see it. Well. Uh, Robin from Once Upon a Time Season 7 Robin. So I made sure to put 7 so I knew which Robin. <laughs> What's the difference? Because first Robin, there's uh, Robin Hood that Regina was in. Oh, okay. And then the, his daughter, yeah. Uh, Sam Winchester. No. Sam is the selfish one, right? Yes. Yeah. She heard me talk about it because I'm not a huge Sam fan. And I've actually never seen, what show is it called? Supernatural. Supernatural. I've I think you've seen some. I've seen very bits, little. bits and pieces, yeah. But no, I, I can't see her with, nah. Same. I can see her with Dean, maybe, but not with Sam. I can see that. Yeah. She's kind of this warrior, uh -huh. and that's kind of Dean's type. So I can see that, but with Sam, no. Yeah. I just that's, that's why I had to clarify that I was thinking of the right person. With Sam, I can see him more with like a bookworm, anyways, because he's kind of a bookworm. He's very smart, but also I I, I, I like Robin. I like season seven Robin a lot. I mean, I like the other Robin too, but I really like when you said Robin, the first thing I thought about was how I met your mother, and that's why I said, "What's the difference?" And then you said, "Well, the first one was Robin Hood," and then it figured out. I said, "I said once upon a time, you must not hurt me," <laughs> but um. Yeah, I just I have issues with Sam. I feel like he can be very selfish, especially since Dean has sacrificed a lot for Sam. I feel like I Sam saw, can always do that for him. I saw that one episode where they were talking about, uh, I guess their memories or whatever. I don't remember what the episode was about. Oh, when they yeah. died, they were in their heaven. Yeah, and it was their and, best memories. And all of Sam's was when he was away from the family, but all of Dean's was when he was with his family and his little brother. Yeah. And that's that that always comes to mind when I think how selfish Sam is. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. And there was this, there was this thing in uh, season eight, because at the end of season seven, uh, Dean and Cass are sent to purgatory, and then season eight, it kind of jumps to when he escapes, and um, you find out that Sam never looked for him once, even though he kind of just disappeared, and they had issues that entire season because of it. 
God, he really is the piece you walk away from him, I'm telling you. He deserves a better brother than I <laughs> For real. Amy from Bad Moms. He just says Je Jeremy? Yeah, 15 years ago. Oh. Oh, her boyfriend. Yeah. Uh, Amy from Bad Moms. I don't see it. Not oh, only is no, there no. the age difference, but also Jeremy's too, like, soft-spoken and sweet and Amy's not. I yeah. mean, I like Amy, but I just don't see it. Yeah, but, you know, Jesse that she ended up with, he's soft-spoken and stuff, too. True, true, true. But I think she needs someone who's a little bit wild. I think Jesse had that about yeah. him a little bit. Yeah, I don't, I don't see them together at all. We haven't got one we shipped yet. No. <laughs> I can't write this one. Astrid Hopperson from How to Train Dragon. Okay. She's the I know it's you. Okay. Uh, <laughs> it's the other ones that I don't know. The uh, twins and a, the chubby kid and the, the annoying kid with the brown hair. I don't know any of their names. I know Astrid and I know Hiccup. And that's uh, it. Dominic Toretto from Fast and Furious. With Astrid. So Dominic and Astrid. Astrid. I, I can see it. I can see it because she's, she's badass. She is. And he's kind of badass. But at the same so. time, she's with Hiccup. Though he can be too, but he's also a bit more nerdy. Still, I can see it. I can see I, it I, too. I can. I can. Yeah. Abby Abominable, Abominable from Monster High G1. Alex from Julian the Phantom. Which one's Alex? He's the uh, gay one. Okay, the drummer? Yeah. I couldn't remember what instrument he played. Um, Who was that? Abby. Abby Wong. Oh, no, no, no. He is too. I, I think she would destroy him emotionally. <laughs> she would too. I and love Abby. Don't get me wrong. I love Abby. But I think Alex that, is so sweet. Yeah, and, he, that, and he's so sensitive. He's always and that's crying why, every time and that's he does why that. I think Willie's really so good for it because he kind of help, he understands him and helps him through his, you know, issues and Yeah. I don't yeah. know. She she'd kill him. She <laughs> would <laughs> too. Him. <laughs> Jody from Soap. And Alyssa Green from Soap. Okay. Besides the fact that she's a lesbian. Uh, and he's gay. <laughs> that works, I guess. Uh, um, personality-wise, I don't know. Now, I've only seen, I've only seen that show once. The prom. The prom. I only seen it once. Um, Alyssa Green was the daughter of the lady that was trying to yes. stop the... The one that was in the closet um, until the end. I could possibly see it, but it's still like a little iffy. I can see it, but not strongly. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So, I can see it, but not strongly see it. Farco from Girl Meets World. Mary Stewart. And Farco? <laughs> that would be interesting. Nah, she's too badass. But then again, it's always the quiet, shy ones that... And I, I can see the... Spark in Farkle sometimes. I can see that spark in him. And Mary has that spark. I can see it as friends. I don't know if I can see it as a couple, but I can see them as friends. Because Farkle kind of reminds me of Lola sometimes. You know, they're both very sweet. I think you're right. I can see them more as friends than lovers. Yeah. Pick up Haddock from uh, How to Train Your Dragon. Okay, uh, Scully from Scary Bob Mother. <laughs> I'm trying to picture that. I could see it. I could see it. You know? Because, you know, they're both a little annoying. And Scully is annoying. No, he's not! Scully's my favorite character. And Hiccup is probably my second favorite character after Astrid. Well, I could sort of see it. I'm on the maybe line, but a little bit higher. I can the... see it because I feel like Hiccup is a lot more, uh, what's the word? Um, kind of reminds me, he reminds me a lot of Addison from Zombies. Always the open-minded one, accepts everyone without a second thought. And I feel... God, like that. God, like that. How do you know? He, he likes the hair 
there right away. He's not like the vampires that try to eat her. Well, true. I'll give you that. Uh, but, um, well, I was saying that's because, you know, he's a skeleton, and I feel like a lot of people in Burke would, uh, you know, run away like they did with the dragons or try to kill him, or both. But his and, would have been yeah. Like that, yeah. So I can kind of see it. And I like Daniel. Jesper Fehe from Six of Crows. Is that Xena? Yes. Xena and Jesper? <laughs> she cannot handle Jesper's enthusiasm and chaoticness. No, like... I don't know. She dealt with Gabrielle. And... But Gabrielle not no, 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 Jesper. No. no, think of the first season Gabrielle, okay? How flighty and all excited about everything she was. True. And okay, her, yeah. Yeah, and it was that side of Gabrielle that brought Zena. Brought Zena's true self to the service, the self that and she was fighting. Up. Yeah. So I think that Jeff would yeah. Yeah, after, after he said like that, because, yeah, I can see I can it. Because I guess just for us a lot, like season one, Gabrielle. Mm-hmm. Ah, if I can grab one. Um, Mia Toretto. Francis from Rain. I can kind of see it. She's yeah. She's she's it's, similar to Mary in some yeah, ways. Yeah, it's not it's not a no, but it's not a strong yes. But it's more on the yes side. I could see them together yeah. maybe. I don't know. Mia's kind of like Mary in some ways. Yes. So uh, yeah. So yeah, I think I could. I think I, I'd say it's a strong yes. Like I could see it, and I think I'd ship it. If Mary wasn't around, you know. Gabrielle and Zena. Did that say Susan? Susan Tess from Susan. Giant Killers. And who? Gabrielle and Zena. So, Susan. No. Wait a minute. Susan She's the, the one twin I don't here. like. Yeah. Okay. She's the twin I don't like. Because okay. I know that Susan has the straight hair and then Mary has the curly hair, right? Yes. Um, um, no, because I like Gabrielle. And I don't like Susan, and I feel like Gabrielle is in Spencer because Susan, the difference between Susan and Mary is that they both know they're geniuses. You know, they both are very aware, but Susan lets it get to her head, and she acts all almighty. And I feel like Mary, there's several times where Susan, Mary's like more open minded. She's like, oh, I guess it's possible. And Susan's like, you can't be my genius twin sister, all snotty. But there's, I can remember a couple times also. Where Johnny, they needed to help Johnny, and Susan was like, "I don't know." And then Mary's like, "Well, he's our brother. We gotta help yeah. him." So yeah. Or they, whenever there was a fight between the test siblings, Susan would always take Dookie's side because uh, they created him, and Mary would take Johnny's side because blood. Yeah, I agree with you. I don't. I, don't like I think Gabrielle deserves better because mm-hmm. I like Gabrielle. Ron Weasley. Xander Harris from Buffy. I see them as friends because they're really similar in many aspects. Like, they're both the friend um, who uh, is very loyal and always there, but also has very low self-esteem. And I can see them as friends, honestly. I don't know if I can ship it. I couldn't see them together because I think they would feed off each other's misery. I think they, they both would need somebody stronger than they are. To bring them out of that, like Ron, does for Ron and yeah. does for Xander. Exactly, because they are strong women that bring the strength up too. Yeah, because both guys feel like they are nothing. are nothing, but then these strong women show them that you are something. Yeah. And yeah, so I think they would destroy each other emotionally, feed off each other's depression. I guess. Emily Princess from Throne of Life, my favorite character. I love. Arizona? Would that be from Grey's Anatomy? Yeah. Okay. Emily yeah. Prentice and Arizona Rollins. I could see I, it. I shipped that. I was about to say that too. I could see that too. I just, I feel like they're both, they're both very independent and they're both, um, I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> well, you got it right. They're both independent, but very strong women. And in many cases, I would say they would butt heads a lot. But I think in this case it might work cause yeah, because yeah, because I know Emily's more understanding. Yeah, and so is Arizona, and I feel like um yeah, like in a lot of these cases they would butt heads, but I feel like they wouldn't, and I feel like it would be a really good match. I could possibly see them. Yeah. Did you know that Emily was originally supposed to be a lesbian? I didn't know that. I found that out recently. Oh. Topanga from. 
you said Topeka for Boy Beast World, and mm -hmm. I have Blair from Back to Life. I don't see it. I don't see it. Of course, Blair did put up with Joe, so I mean, she does have that power. Yeah, I was but about I don't to see say her I as a couple with her. I don't. I don't know. I'm a little on the fence about it because I feel like. I don't know. Because I'm trying to think. Like, Tabanga's really smart, and I feel like she wouldn't take crap from Blair. As, oh, you wouldn't. I feel like Blair wouldn't take crap into Bang either. I th I think I could see it. I don't. Mary Tess from Johnny Tess. Is that Raphael? Yes. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Well, he's a mutant. Who do you have against mutant? Nothing, but can you see Heath Mary with a mutant? Which is why in the 2012 series, he fell in love with an alien, I think she was. They were a cute couple. She's never seen that series. Um, I think she could take him. I, I think, yeah. Despite the fact that he is a turtle, I can see them together. I can. Because of their personality. I think because of the personality, you know, she's strong or whatever. I, I could probably maybe see him more with Susan, to be honest. Because Susan's a little bit of a bitchy, and Raph is a little tough and bitchy. Well, I think that's why he would need someone more like Mary than Susan. That's true. That's true. Because I feel like Mary could bring him down to earth. I agree. Yeah. And I think Mary is a little bit like his love interest in the series, because uh, she can be a little hard-headed um, and stuff, but she's also more calm, cool, and collective, which is something Raph needs. Brian O'Connor from Fast and Furious. Can't read that one. Sean from Boy Meets World. Oh, God, no. I mean, Sean's edgy like Dominic. Yeah, but I still... I still can't see it. I can't... I, I can't see it, no. I don't know. I think um, I can see it as a friendship thing, but I don't know if I can see it as anything more. Ferb. Ferb. Uh, Carla from Bad Moms, no. <laughs> no. He's too quiet for her. Yeah. Uh, way too quiet for her. And yeah. way too just, you know... Sweet. Yeah. <laughs> I think she needs someone loud and, and wild. Yeah. You know? Cause that's, yeah, I agree with that. Richie from uh, Green Spice the Pink Ladies. Corey Martin. Who? Richie? Corey. You mean Cody? Yeah, that's supposed to be Cody. Cody. Oh, well, for, right. Exactly. Is that, okay. Um, I can't see Richie it. Cody's the, the sweet one, right? Yeah. I can't see it because I don't know. I guess mm -hmm. Richie from Grease Rising Pink Ladies. I can only. Richie was the brother, right? Yeah. I can really only see Cody with the people who can handle his intellect, like Bailey or the girl's brother. Uh, Barbara, that was her That's name. That's true. Well, Richie learned to deal with what's her face, and she was smart. True. But I still think that he would constantly feel inadequate compared to Cody. I yeah, did. and I feel like Cody's always off. Like, with him and Bailey, they're always saying things that nobody else understands. They have these inside jokes because through their intelligence of things nobody understands. Yeah, and I think, would, yeah, yeah, he, he wouldn't understand that. I agree with that. Keith Burns from Monster High G1. Raya from Raya Laugh Dragon. I don't know. He's just kind of chaotic like uh, Namari and I shipped him. I... I could picture her with them. Yeah, me too. I think they're both tough and I think act before they I, think sometimes. True, and I think because he can have he can have a bit, a bit of an ego, and I think Raya could you know snap him out of it. <laughs> kind of like Abby. Mario, yeah. Like I do like Ethan and Abby together. Yeah, me they too. They always just put them together. 
Gamara from Guardians of the Galaxy. Can't read it. Zach Martin from Sword Art Online Cody. No. Uh -huh. No, Gamora. I mean, yeah, he's the edgier twin, but he's also selfish and stuff and annoying. And I think Gamora so is Peter. He is funny. Zach isn't even funny. Yeah. Like, he's just plain Peter. out annoying. Peter's hilarious. And I don't think he's that selfish. I think at the beginning he was, but he had this character development that Zach, I mean, he grew up, but he was still selfish at times. And he was still doing childish things. Yeah. And I just think more deserves better. Alice from Once Upon a Time, season seven. Who? Alice. Leo White. I think she's a little too crazy for him. I'll give you that. Because... I mean, he fell for Piper, and she was more stable and whatever. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, if, if he fell for, if it was him and Phoebe, maybe, because she was pretty wild in the beginning. But he fell for Piper, and I guess I see him more with a stable person, and she's yeah. just not. Yeah, she would have him going off all kind of wicked, kind of weird ways. She was a little weird. Rumble from Once Upon a Time. When shots from Supergirl. That has all the same. Mm -hmm. And who? Rumpel from Once Upon a Time. No. 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 I love Rumpel, but I think Wynn can do better. To be honest, I love Belle and Rumpel together, but I still think Belle can do better a lot of times. <laughs> I just can't picture her. That's the thing. I don't really have much of an opinion. I just. I can't picture it. Nah. Willie from Julian the Phantoms. Remus. Lupin? Mm hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. Harry Potter. Willie from Julian the Phantoms. Um. I don't know. I could see it. I was about to say that too. I could see like, it. I feel like Willie would. Like, he can deal with a lot of Alex's, you know, you know, his anxiety stuff. I think, I think stuff, he can and, deal with the werewolf with that. Yes, yeah. and I think he can also, because Lupin is a bit, um, has low self-esteem a lot like Ron. And I feel I like... Willie could bring that up. Yeah, yeah, just like he does with Alex and his anxiety and stuff. I feel like Willie can yeah. deal with Lupin. I think that's... Darcy from Roseanne. I can't this. Orson from Scary Tom Lupin. <gasps> He's well, a bit goofy, but he's you, also... If you think of Darlene back when she was in high school, I could definitely see it. I think they'd be, like, the perfect match. Because yes. all she did wore black. I mean, she'd be the perfect goth uh, uh, I think vampire. Be, I, I think she would be a human that uh, Ruby and Max would uh, approve of. I could, yeah. I, I could picture that. Yeah, me too. Like he also would never scare her or anything, and he would he would take her crap. Even though I love Darlene and David, I feel like he would take his crap. I don't yeah, know. exactly. They would actually be really good together. I'm actually really sorry to ship it. <laughs> uh, Namari. Oh, from Ride of the Last Dragon. Uh, George O'Malley from Grey's Anatomy. Which one's George? He's the sweet one, the uh, el guy who uh, didn't freeze up in the elevator with Alex. Oh, right, 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 right. Okay, yes. She's watching Grey's Anatomy for the first time. Uh, she's seen a lot of it from me, but she's the first time we're actually watching all the way through, and she's on the season two. two. Yeah. So, I haven't actually watched it last week or so, but... George, I uh, know. I, I liked it both, but I... think I, the more it's tough for her. Yeah, yeah, definitely. George needs someone more on the sweet side. Yeah, I agree. And the more needs someone more on the tough side, like Ryan, which is why she... <laughs> Reggie from Riverdale. Riley from Girls of the World. No. No. He's too... He's too all tough. Like, I, yeah. I mean, I guess if you ship Riley and Maya, because I know some people do. I also think he's way too selfish for her. True, true. I, I, I know Maya is a moment where she could be selfish as well. But she's also a really good friend. Yeah. Yeah, I think but... Um, yeah, I think he's just too selfish and stuff for her, and I feel like 
Um, she needs you someone. You have to be more understanding to deal with someone like Riley because yeah. her mind doesn't think like most people do. You yeah. Know? yeah, I think she's perfect for someone like Farkle, which is why mm. I ship them over her. I Lucas. do wish she was with Farkle. And I don't really watch Boy Meets World, but I'm telling you. You mean Girl Meets World? That's where I'm at. <laughs> Merlin from Merlin. Dracula. G1 I, or G3? G3. I can picture it. I can picture it. I really can. Because she's learning magic and stuff, True. too. Yeah. And he has magic. And I think he could help her bring that out. Yeah, I can kind of see it, too. I, yeah, I, I like the movie together. They look like me. And Edge uh, Gothra, Gotha from Six Crow, Shadow and Bone, The Grisha Verse, all that. And Edge Gothra. In Edge. I didn't know her last name. Oh. Uh, Sid from One Day at a Time. The Wi Fi that got cut off. <laughs> um, Sid. They are uh, Lena's girlfriend. Oh, right, right. I forgot that was or, their name. Girl tries not to be correct. Uh, what's his? Oh yeah, they ended up going. Remember that episode where they were trying to figure out a proper name for Sid, and they ended up going with significant other. Um, and who? Inej. Yeah. Nah. I mean, if it was that one girl that was the best friend with her at the beginning, that was all goth looking or whatever, <laughs> that girl I might be able to picture with Inej, but Sid, not so much. Yeah, I feel like I feel like I I could picture Sid with Jesper, possibly, possibly. Because like Sid can be a little out there sometimes, but some of the I could picture her say, more with Wyatt though. I can see that too, but uh, they they can be a little um out there with some of the stuff they say and that grand gesture they did for Elena um for the dance mm. and stuff and so, and they sprout you know these. They're also a lot like Elena in terms of very nerdy and stuff. So with Wyland or Jesper, yes, but Nedge, no. Dean Winchester. Can't read it. Cheryl Blossom. I could possibly see it. First of all, they're both very gorgeous people. And I don't know, because she's kind of out there. And I think Dean. So is Cass. Yeah, and I think Dean could wrinkle her in, but I also think that Cheryl could bring out the more fun-loving part of Dean. Yeah, I feel like in those aspects, but there's also one thing, um, I don't remember who we got together, but, the, uh, oh, it was Xander and Ron, when we said they could feed each other's depression. Mm -hmm. I feel like it's the same thing with them sometimes. That, uh, I didn't think about that, because Cheryl had a bad life, so, so she could be really sad, and so did he. he and and I think you might be right, even though I do think they would look good together. Cass I, and Tony bring them up, and I don't think they could do that for each other. Yeah, I think they would feed on each other's bad sides. Yeah. Yeah. I think they could be good friends, just like uh, Dean, uh, Ron and uh, Xander, but I do think they would bring each other down instead of up. Yeah. yeah. Uh, David. Uh, I can't pronounce his last name from Shadow and Bone. He's the uh, really smart one who is with Jenya. She's the redhead. He's the one that did that whole speech to her about uh, her being uh, perfect even with her new scarred face. Oh, okay. Um, and I got Wild and Bad Neck. <laughs> I could actually see it. They don't really ever have any scenes together, but I could actually kind of see it. Like, like, Jin Jinny was very self-conscious after her accident and stuff, after what the Darkling did to her. And Wyland had, you don't know his past because you never read the books, but his, in the books, his dad is the main villain. And he hated him, um, hated Wyland because Wyland, even though he is basically a genius, a lot like David, he is illiterate. He cannot read or write. And he keeps calling him an embarrassment and wasn't even afraid to kill him at one point. Yeah, so, um, and I feel like David could, you know, tell Wyland how amazing he is like he did with Jenya, and I feel like, I don't know, I can see it. And they're also both very smart, so they could, like, bounce off each other in the intelligence department. I can see that. Letty from Fast and Furious. Can you read that? 
Spencer Reed from Criminal Minds. And who? Letty from Spencer Reed. I don't think oh, that. No, that would no, be no. like Spencer going out with Emily, which I just can't see. Yeah. Emily, I can ship with Letty, but yeah, I, I just don't see that. Yeah. I I can picture them a little being friends. To be yeah, honest, same. I, I can't. Yeah, I I don't see it. No, no, not even a little bit. <laughs> um, Frankie Stein. G1 or G3? Oh, G3. I wouldn't put G1 first. <laughs> I don't like Frankie G1. But um, Morgana Pendragon. Um, before she goes all evil, yes. Possibly. I can't, I can't see it. Um, she was just so kind and stuff, and I could she see her was being, very nice I before can, she. I can see her being so kind to Frankie and and understanding them, her, yeah, them, them, sorry, accepting uh, them uh, and their uh, identity as non-binary and the fact that they are, you know, several body parts, and I feel like she just wouldn't care. I, I agree with that. I don't think she would care. And um. And maybe if she had somebody like Frankie, she wouldn't have turned evil in the first place. Honestly speaking, once she first started going down that road of turning evil, I think they would have helped her out. Yeah. Because. And saved her her from as that. As much as I'm not a big Frankie liker. I thought you liked Frankie from G3. Oh, she's. They are not as bad as yeah. the original. Yeah. But, but yeah, I think that they might have been able to stop Morgana from going yeah, down. Yeah, me that. too. Because I think they would have been able to notice the signs beforehand. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. And would help Morgana not feel alone, because part of her problem was that she felt alone with having magic, but Frankie obviously which, tended to have a lot of Which was magic. wrong, because Gaius Gaia did not want to tell her, but even Merlin was like, why? We could help her. I get and where Gaius was coming from, because... But I think if they would have helped her, maybe yeah, she would have I agree. Back. I agree. I agree. Definitely. If uh, they would have been forthcoming with her, then she wouldn't have felt alone, and she wouldn't have went down that path. She could have learned from guys like Merlin did, mm -hmm. and she could have talked to Merlin about all this. Yeah. Gwen from Merlin. Sarah from the original Jim I can't see it. I can see it. Can you? Yeah, because they're they're both really sweet people, and I mean I wouldn't say it's a definite yes, but it's in the high possible yes. I I could picture them together. Elena Alvarez from um, uh, One Day at a Time. Sam Manson from uh, Danny Phantom. And who? Elena Alvarez from One Day at a Time. Um, I could possibly see it. I could too. She's they, a lot like the her girlfriend. girlfriend. Yeah. yeah, I can't remember her name. Yeah, I don't remember them either. But still, I can I can see them together. I can see them as a couple and everything. Yeah, I could I too. Think, yeah. Sandy, Sandman from... Uh, Right, right, uh, Cynthia. Rise of the Guardians. Cynthia. From Grease Rise of the Ladies. Mm -hmm. Um, I well, Sandy is a Sandman. And he doesn't it. speak. Still, I don't see it. I, I cannot even picture it in my head. Not at all, not even a little bit. I mean, despite the fact that he's a Sandman, I don't know. I feel like he can handle Cynthia's. She's a little out there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Maybe, but I still can't see him together. Addison from Zombies. Spencer from uh, the newer Jumanji. Spencer who? Addison from Zombies. I feel like and, she could bring him up. Yeah, and if you look more at the Addison in the first movie, I, I think that they could be together. Yeah, I could see... Yeah. Now, Alien Addison, maybe not, but, you know, Zombies 1, I could definitely see her with Spencer. Yeah. I could. Neil from Once Upon a Time. We love Neil. We're, this is a Neil fan account. Seth from Moxie. Which one's Seth? He was the nice guy that was um, yeah, doing all the things. Supporting women? Yeah, okay. supporting the women. And who? Neil from Once Upon a Time. I can see it. I, I can see it. I think... They're both, you know, very kind and 
always there for us people. But tough when they need to be. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think, yeah. Daphne Blake from Scooby Doo. Phoebe Buffet from uh, Friends. Daphne. I can't see it. No. Phoebe needs someone like Mike who can help her, you know. Who would understand her. And would accept her for who she was. Well, I mean, if you think about the Daphne from uh, Scooby Doo Mystery Incorporated, which I know you haven't seen that much of, she's a lot like that for Fred. Fred's very, in, in that series, he's very out there, obsessed with traps and stuff, and she deals with a lot because of him. Um, and uh, I think her from that show could handle Phoebe. So I, if, it's, if it's that Daphne from that show, I think yes. But any other Daphne iteration, yeah, I, no. I still don't see it. Well, you haven't really seen that show. Mm. Jay from Descendants. I love Jay. Miss Scarlet? That's what I thought it said. Miss Scarlet. And who? Jay from Descendants. No. No. She, she reminds me too much of, like, a princess princess, like, Audrey. And that's exactly who I can't. Like, I mean, I ship him with both Lonnie and Gil. These days it's more Gil, even though I still like him with Lonnie. And I feel like, but I feel like Lonnie is the only girl from Oradon he would be interested in because I don't because see him with tough. a pussy princess. I yeah. see him with more someone like Mel, you know? Yeah, well, I see can see him with Lonnie because he needs someone tough. that is tough and someone that can fight. Yeah. And she would need someone that is okay with being a strong, tough woman. Which a lot of the Ordon guys aren't. So you're right. I couldn't really see him with Miss Scarlet. Peter Parker from the MCU. This is the Tom Holland one. This is the only one I've ever Sarah seen. Lance. I don't see it. I I don't see it. Hmm. Um. I don't. I still. Don't see it. I don't know. I mean, I don't know the other iterations of um, Zendaya's character. I don't remember her name now. MJ? Yeah, MJ. Um, I don't know the other iterations of her very much, but this version, she's very tough and stuff, like Sarah. I think she was tough enough, but not the Sarah Lance stuff. True, true. Yeah, I, I guess I don't feel, really see it. Yeah. Okay. Buffy Summers. Paige Matthews from Tom. <laughs> you know, when Paige was first introduced, maybe not, but I think later on Paige became Season her, yeah. seven or eight Paige? Yeah, I could possibly see that. Yeah. Maybe. And I feel like because they both have this huge duty, you know? She's one of the charmed ones, so they're very they have this responsibility to, you know, stop demons, and that's basically what Buffy's responsibility mm -hmm. is as well. And I feel like it would be nice for Buffy to have someone who understands what, mm -hmm. how it feels, because it can be very lonely, which we see with each charm one, yeah. and Buffy. And I, um, I lost my train of thought, um, but, and then, uh, I lost what I was going to say, but, um, and I feel, I just, I feel like, they would understand each other, and they could help each other so they not yeah. feel alone. I mean, yeah, Buffy's friends can help, but they can only do so much. And I think that they would each understand the duty part. I think that was the hardest part about anyone that Paige was dating or, or any Buffy Buffy's dating. friends. Because what they don't understand is that sometimes duty has to come before anything else. And I think that if Buffy said, hey, I've got to go fight a demon, uh, Paige would either be there with her or she'd be understanding at the fact and that she would leave. Yeah, exactly. So I could possibly yeah. see it. I mean, I think I could see it more if it was like Piper because she's more, you know. Duty bound, maybe. That and just more bad SS. I guess but um, I could still see Paige, at least later on Paige. Because early on Paige, no, I just can't. But later Paige, yes. A lot of ours is a seven, season seven, eight Paige. I could definitely see yeah, it. Yeah, me too. I can't read that. Uh, Damon Salvatore from the Vampire Diaries. I hate him. It's very unpopular opinion. Oh, that's opinion, the but... selfish brother. Yeah. Uh, Ethan from Strange World. No. 
No. <laughs> He's too much of a sweet. Yeah, home. Ethan is so sweet. And yeah. David is awful. Yeah, I I can't even fathom that idea. Not even as friends, like, no. Diggle from Arrow. Step I on. love Diggle. Step on. You're stepping. Stepping? Stepping step Salvatore step from yeah. Vampire Diaries? Um. Diggle from Diggle. Arrow. Maybe friend wise, but anything more, I, I can't see it. I mean, I think Stefan knows how to fight and everything, so does Dickel. But I, I don't know. I just think their personalities might clash. I, I don't know. How so? I, I, I don't know. It's just a feeling I get. I guess. I mean, I feel like Diggle's very tough and hard at times, and I feel like Stefan is, um. He's very tough when he has to be, but he's also a lot sweeter and stuff. Um, Maybe I still just see him as friends. I'm not really sure, to be honest. Barney from How I Met Your Mother. Uh, Colonel Mustard from Clue. No. Colonel Mustard and who? Barney from How I Met Your Mother. Uh, no. Yeah, that's a hard no for me as well. I, yeah. Meredith Grey from Grey's Anatomy. Diazzo. From Strange, Strange World. World. Um, no. We didn't really see enough of Diazzo. Because he's just in the very beginning, in the very end. We hear a lot about but, him. Yeah. But, but, you know, Meredith reminds me a little bit of, uh. You? Shut up! She hates when I say that. No, of uh, Ethan. Because, you know, Ethan's a little chaotic and out there, and so is Meredith. And but he's, I he's also very happy and smiley and adventurous, Meredith. and Meredith is very dark and twisty, which they say numerous times. I don't know. I still I mean, he also kind of has this whole, uh, from what we did see of him, this cool vibe about him. And so did Derek. He had this cool, you know, new attending vibe. I, I could still possibly see it. Yeah. I don't know, possible, yes. Ben from Descendants. Scary. Aspen from Zombies. And Ben? I could see it. He likes Mel, despite being a VK, and he also is very understanding. He, he is very understanding. He, he thought, even before he met any of the VKs, that they didn't deserve to be punished, that they deserved a um, chance. And he he had this whole mission, and I could see him being the same way with the aliens, werewolves, zombies, all of them. Just like Addison. Yeah. Yeah, very understanding, and very come join our world. I feel thing. like yeah. uh, he would also be understanding about Aspen's pronouns as well, because he's just a very understanding person, like yeah. Addison. I and I, I ship it. I can see it. Martha from the New Origin Monkey. Uh, Danny from Soap. That's a hard maybe for me. Because I can't picture it. There's part of me that can see it, but then there's another part of me that can't. She's very shy and stuff, but also she's very passionate for what she believes in. And the only time we really saw her speak out was when she was speaking for something she believed in. And That's she's true. very smart and more shy and stuff. You're right, I'll go with you and say no. Like, Danny tried to kill a bird. <laughs> Um, Jughead. Evie from Descendants. I can see it. Can you? I can. I can see him maybe with someone more like Mel. But no. Evie, I feel like she's too girly for him. I mean, even maybe. Betty wasn't that girly. Good point. I do, I can see that. But still, I think that, you know, Jughead's kind of like an outcast, kind of like a the weird one of the group, and I think so was Doug that Evie ended up with. True. You know? Okay. So I would have to say 
I'm leaning more. I'm still a baby, but I'm leaning toward, more towards the yes than the no. Quiet from Zombies. Eric Foreman from that same show. I originally wrote Eric Matthews, and I was like, I meant Eric Foreman. Like, that was what was on my brain, but I wrote the wrong Eric. Oh. Uh, Quiet from Zombies. And Eric Matthews. Zombies. He's the, uh... Male werewolf. Oh, uh, right, the, the cute male. one, yeah. That's how I identify things. The cute one, the one that likes to read. Um, uh, Eric Foreman and Wyatt. I don't see it. I mean, I think they're both kind of weird in their own weird way. I think, but... I don't know, because even though it's the same character, it just, they feel different from Zombies 2 and 3 sometimes. Like, you see, in Zombies 2, it was very... Uh, duty oriented. He was very tough and stuff. But Zombies mm-hmm. Three, he was more, you know, uh, shy and nervous to talk to his crush. I think uh, Zombies Three, Wyatt. I could see with Eric, but I don't think I can with Zombies Two, Eric or Wyatt. Possibly, I if that makes that. any sense. Because they do feel like different characters at some times. Mm, they do. Mal from Descendants. Parentate for soap. I have no idea. I have no idea. I mean, Mel's really tough and stuff. Um, but Corinne, she Mel is like the leader, right? She knows what she wants and she goes after it. Every like, like even in um. Each movie, you know, she has this obstacle, but she goes after what she thinks is right at the time. Um, and I feel like Corinne's like that, too. You know, she had a thing for Tim, and she kept going and after she him. She was relentless at getting, you know. And, um... I could see them as friends. I don't think I could see them anything more. But I could see them palling around and helping each other do their little weird things, but I don't think I could see them I could see them as something more. I feel like Corinne could, you know... Real men, it, male, male in. I can't speak today. Um, and Mel can like bring current up. You know. Maybe, maybe. Justin Russo from Wizards of Waverly Place. Alex from Grey's Anatomy. When you said Alex from Grey's I thought you were gonna say Russo, and I was gonna scream like, if we got that. <laughs> uh, well, you. Are only on season two, but you've also seen a lot of Alex from what I've watched, and you like Alex, right? You probably don't from where you're at, but from what you see from me, yeah. you like him. Um, I I actually could see them together. I can. Hmm. I don't know because I feel like he can be that tough guy sometimes, and so could Joe, and um, so could Izzy at times even, and. Um, Justin, I just, I don't see him as that tough guy. Maybe with, maybe with, uh, Alex. Yeah. From Wizard Place, I could see it. But with Justin? I, I still don't think I could see it. I don't know. And Justin, Justin also has this big head about him. I, I think Alex is somebody who can understand what he's been through and help him through it when he gets in one of his, you know, depressed moods. And I just don't think Justin can do that for him. I, maybe you're right. Maybe you're right. Kurt, Jen, oh, sorry. Uh, Kurt Hummel from Glee. He's the gay one. Okay. Uh, Jenny Weasley. I think she's too tough for him. Yeah, I was about to say. <laughs> like with I, I could, I could possibly see it from Santana. I could even see that. Or I could also, I could also yeah. see, I could also see her Jenny with. Brittany, because um, it this was it wasn't showcased in the movies, but in the books after the DA split up, Jenny and Luna became friends, and Jenny would like stick up for Luna, and Brittany could, is a, similar to Luna in some way. She's kind of out there, and she's yeah, the one that's gonna end up with if you didn't know. But uh, but with Kurt, I don't see it. I just I, I don't yeah, I don't see it. I can't read that. Late from rain. Uh, Carlos from Descendants. I can see it. 
They're both so sweet and possible. I feel it, like they'd be not, just. It's not a no, but it's not a definite yes. But it is. I can, I I can I can ship it. I feel like they're both really sweet and they'd be like just a very sweet couple. <laughs> And Lake gets and Lake deserves a happy ending. Yeah, he went through hell. That's just messed up. Doe from the Facts of Life. Claudine from Monster High G3. It was Claudine from G1, I would say yes, but not from G3. I agree with that. I will agree with that because she seems tougher before yeah. than she does now. Yeah. And, and she seems more shy and you know nerdy. Mm -hmm. And she was more, even though she was this big fashionista, she was also very, very tough. And I feel like she would not take also, Joe's crap. But I also think, you know, Joe ended up marrying somebody that just simply made her laugh. Somebody who really wasn't up to himself. True. And I don't think Cla Cla Claudine could bring out the laughter in Joe. I don't think she could. I think Frankie could. <laughs> G3 Frankie. That's a possibility. Yeah, I can grab one. Uh, Lily Aldrin from How I Met Your Mother. That's Alyssa Hannigan. Gets um, Danny Fenton from Danny Phantom. Lily. He does like Sam. But Lily's not goth, like, but no, she is but out there. She's, Lily's out yeah, there. She, and she can be a tough little skank when she wants she to be. She can't. She, see, she, she can scare them all. Uh -huh. Like, there's this one episode uh, you probably haven't seen, but it's like they were all, the group was fighting over who was, like, the most bad ASS, and then at the end, Lily kind of won. And it's like, like, yeah, I can kind of see it. Twyla from Monster IG1. Twyla? Betty from Riverdale. I, I, I could kind of see it. Maybe. Twyla's sweet. Yeah, and but so was Jughead when they first met. You know, Betty? Yeah. No, I mean, Jughead was sweet. Uh, um... I can see, I'm not sure if I can see it as a couple, but I can see it as friends. Because Twyla's very, um, like, what she's, ha, she just, she accepts people, you know? And I feel like, just like Jughead, she would have accepted Betty's darkness and helped her through it. So maybe I could see it as a couple. Yeah, I, I could see it when you put it that way. Lola from Rain. Ray Palmer from Arrowverse. I could see and it. Who? Lola from Rain. They're both very sweet, and I feel like Ray would give, put in, in an effort more than Arcee's did. Yeah. And he would show her every day how much he loved her, which mm -hmm. is well over. He wouldn't have lost, yeah, he wouldn't have lost her. And I can see them together, I really yeah. can. Yeah. I can't get it out. Alex Russo from Wizards of Raven Place. David from Ro Roseanne. Alex? I mean, I can kind of see it because Alex is a lot like their lead. Yeah, and I think David needed, back then, David needed somebody who controlled him and did what, because he was, had a hard time dealing with things himself. Yeah. So, yeah, I can see and I also that. don't think, like, I even though, I love Darlene, she's my favorite character, but she can some, sometimes seem emotionless. And, but, and even though Alex is tough like Darlene, she has more emotion, if that makes sense. Yeah. And I feel like that side of her could connect with David as well, so. I agree. Operetta from Monster High G1. Uh, Fusco from Flash. And Operetta? I can kind of see it. He liked that gypsy girl. And she was very loud like Operetta. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I can see it. I could definitely, I, I think he would love someone that was kind of off the wall. I yes. Really and yeah, I, I could see it. Four left. Dum dum dum. Laguna from Monster High G3. Santana Lopez from Glee. And who? Uh, Laguna from Monster High G3. Monster High G1 maybe, because even though she wasn't like tough like her, she was also, she didn't take anybody's crap. She didn't take people's crap. Yeah. And I think that's what uh, she needed. And, um, but Laguna G3, I don't know, she, there was this one episode recently where she was kind of a pushover. And I'm like, but at the same time, she also has this rep as being like the scariest monster. 
which is something say that so maybe I can't see it with Laguna G. I I can't exactly, but I mean anything's possible. <laughs> Zed from Zombies. Scary Godmother from Scary Godmother. Well, she's a witch and he's a zombie. Um, but other than that, no, I don't. I think she's more out there. Yeah. And even Addison's not that out there. Yeah. I can't picture it because I think Zed is more. I think with someone I think like Zed is level headed. I really do. Yeah, I feel like someone with maybe like Bonzo or uh, Winter. That's her name. Uh, I could see her with Winter. But um. I can't see her with that. Yeah. I Maybe as friends, but that's I can't even see that. Well, I mean, he's friends with Winter. Good one. He, they, the two of them seem pretty close in Zombies 3. They did. So, yeah. So, yeah. But this video was not as long as the other one. Still kind of long, though. But, yeah. We like it so long. Yeah, <laughs> apparently. Um, but I also feel like we weren't as ranty. Like, before we were ranting over the ships, but since this one we were trying to figure out if we shipped them or not, we weren't as ranting. Yeah. If I could put it on the back, okay. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment if you liked any of these ships, uh, what you thought of them, and... Um, if you disagreed with what, how we felt about anything. And uh, we'll probably be doing this again sometime in the future. So, look forward to that, and I will talk to you guys next time. Yeah. <laughs>